Hey, good morning, fam. It's your boy, Josh. We had a classic heat game yesterday. <laughs> that one was very painful to watch. The Heat starters combined for seven points in the first half and finished with a total of 18 points for the entire game. Man, that's rough. I'm sorry, Heat fans. <laughs> they just couldn't buy a bucket and the game got away from them right at tip off. And one of our favorite prop targets yesterday, Max Struess pulled a Tony Snell with the perfect zero stat line. But hey, at least he had three fouls. <laughs> Better than nothing. He must have hung out with Reggie and Snell last night. <laughs> And our all-time favorite player, Bam, went back to being Bam and got his cardio in. But keep sprinting, Bam. Keep sprinting. And I will keep fading till the end. Now we get to see if Luca can stay on fire and get some help from his supporting cast in order to keep this series alive. So, let's get hunting. The Mavs at Warriors has a one-point spread and a 216 implied total. It's win or get swept for the Mavs. So we should expect desperation mode and full-on hustle and effort from all the key players. Interesting to note that Luke has scored 40 or more points in the last two games, and only two players have ever put up 40 or more points three times in the conference finals, and that's Akeem Olajuwon and LeBron James. So he could join an elite group today if he can post at least 40 points. All of Luca's props are in play today in an elimination game. He will do whatever it takes to keep his team alive by filling the stat line. So I will target his 58 fantasy points as a core piece. He will need help though from his role players including Dinwiddie and Brunson. And I think Dinwiddie will play big minutes today since he was so aggressive and effective last game. He was draining threes and getting to the free throw line at a high rate. So I will target his 13 and half points. And Brunson should also be aggressive and continue to attack the basket. So his PRA and free throws are in play, especially if the refs try to extend this series. And Finney should play almost the entire game, so we can target his 21 fantasy points, and his three-point prop is in play too. I think the Mavs shoot much better today compared to last game, so their three-point props are definitely live in a must-win game. In support of this game theory, the Warriors were throwing out different defenses in order to slow down Luka, including a 2-3 zone and a box-in-one package, which both provide a lot of open three-point shots for the wings and secondary guys. So something to keep in mind. Otto is doubtful today, which means more run for Moody, who has been solid on defense, and he has three-point upside. We could also see Kaminga get some run and JTA if they need some defense to help. And Draymond has struggled this series, especially with the refs and fouling, <laughs> but his assist prop is at 5.5, which is very low for a guy who commands the floor and looks to set up plays for others. He had 17 potential assists last game, which is the norm for him. So I like his assist prop, and his three turnovers is always in play, especially since he will take more risk and play more loose today with all the pressure being on the Mavs' shoulders. And Wiggins has been the MVP of this series, and wow, what a poster yam on Luka. It has to be the dunk of the playoffs so far, and even Luka gave him props afterwards by saying that he wished he had hops like that. But Wiggins is getting it done on both sides of the ball, and his rebounding, especially on the offensive side, has been crucial for the Warriors. So we can't target his 6 rebounds or 24.5 PRA, since he's also getting second chance putbacks too. And Looney has been the other X factor in this series, especially with his rebounding along with his playmaking too. So we can't target his 9.5 rebounds and 2.5 assists. His playmaking is underrated in my opinion, and it's a contract year for him, as he's an unrestricted free agent after this year, and he's only 26, I know, even though he looks like an old vet. So the motivation is there, and thus he should continue to play with a lot of heart. Also, Otto being out is a big boost to his rebound potential too. And Steph said after the game that they will be playing with house money today. So it sounds like they will play more loose and take more risks with three-point shooting and by forcing the issue to try and put them away early on. So this could lead to more turnovers for Steph too. His rebounds are always in play against the Mavs since they take so many threes. So let's recap our favorite targets so far. First, Luka's 58 fantasy points or 33 and a half points. Second, Dimwitty's 13 and a half points. And third, Brunson's 27 and a half PRA or three free throws made. And fourth, Finney's two three point made or 21 fantasy points, the gun special. <laughs> and fifth, Draymond's five and a half assists or three turnovers. And lastly, Wiggins' six rebounds or 24 and a half PRA. We should have a much better game today. It's always optimal to target teams that are desperate with their backs against the wall. So load up on the Mavs. What do you guys think? Do the Mavs stay alive and give Luka some help by shooting much better from three? Or do the Warriors put them away? Let us know in the comment section below. I'm really curious to see what you guys think since you all know how I feel. <laughs> also, don't forget it's Taco Tuesday. 
So look out for those discounts and be sure to vote on the right ones. And join us later today at 4 p.m. Eastern for the live stream. Me and Gun will mine those gems and unravel a game script for you. And we will open more card packs for either must plays or fades. So as always, best of luck everyone. I hope you crush it. Take care.